Act 1, Scene 27, The Tournament, Chorus. There are hoofbeats and drums, and the lute minstrel strums, and the buglers blow fanfares so loudly. There are collars and flags, and their heraldic stags, and their lions and eagles fly proudly. And name after name who've turned up for the game are over the noisy crowd shouted. And when it's all done, just the one will have won, with the rest at some point being routed. Alvaro, Fernando, and Sancho, and Pedro, and Vasco and Ferdinand too, Ernesto and Enrique, each one here to see play in chivalrous fashion gone through. Constanza. Greetings, my Enos, I've brought all the others to cheer for my Pedro, while you cheer your brothers. Though if they question your loyalty, I don't have the answers, for the red at your wrist matches neither one's lances but perfectly fits what my husband has knotted. Now the gossip grows ghastly that you're both besotted, and the eyes of the crowd from the sport are distracted to be staring at us with our sweet friendship fractured. Beatrice. What a funzo, my king, with your intrigue and spies you so failed to unearth. This crowd sees with its eyes, hear it hum through this crowd, that's their gossiping mumbling. What they fail to find, you're for feckless fools fumbling. That your son flies his flag for his wife's lady's maid, and invites both her brothers for this sport to be played. Afonso, silence, wife, silence, let there not be heard. From your lips on this matter, one more single word. Chorus. In armour prepared, the combatants are paired, with Pedro and Vasco up first. Through their visors they stare, to such steely-eyed glares, trying to banish their fears of the worst. In stillness they stand, both their mounts to command, until silence has seeped through the crowd. Then the flag drops each horse on collision-bound course, gallops with hooves thunder loud. With fear-burnished will and long hours practised skill, both knights' lances deflected by shields. Second sortie commences to test their defences, both equally matched, neither yields. Enrique, attracting Pedro's attention. I see your wife's lady's maids here in support, and is that your wife with her come here for the sport? Pedro, my wife is a lady of utmost refinement, with her unborn child home, them both safe in confinement. Enrique, your infanta's refinement, I question it none, but she's been over there watching since this first begun. Chorus. Third sortie underway with a blink of delay from Pedro with his helmet angled. To the crowd not his foe, his mounts moving too slow, he's still adjusting how his lance is handled. With Vasco's fine steed at full galloping speed, a sharp clash between breastplate and lance head. The second clash duller, the crowd drain of colour, to see Pedro lying so still, perchance dead. The fastest reaction to this sudden action comes from all the women who fly, to flock round the form of poor Pedro forlorn, lift his visor and look in his eye. His stare frozen wide, that of one who just died, the abruptest, most sudden death. There are screams all are stunned, then his impact shocked lungs, regather and haul in a breath. Constanza and Beatrice share a shedding of fear kiss, Blanche, Bella and Nora all hug, leaving Enos in turmoil and sinking in her soil in the strange lonely hole she has dug. The contest resumes as the premature rumours of Prince Pedro's demise are all quelled. Once the men's instinct to rake out the imprint he left in the place he was felled, have been met then the next scheduled sortie collects on the field that the women have left. 
Having thought that she lost her love now like some impostor, Ina sits alone feeling bereft. The sport skilful and violent, but the crowd almost silent, with the main story already penned. Two sportsmen emerge, standing out from the herd, no one can unseat or append. Each riding the course as if part of their horse, Fernando and Ferdinand Vi. Again and again they both parry and fend, and it's Ferdinand edges the tie.